Yahoo, a key partner for ABC News, together with the number one online news network, made headlines yesterday by buying the blogging site Tumblr, which allows millions of users to be their own publishers of anything and everything. The two CEOs at the center of it all, Marissa Meyer of Yahoo, David Karp of Tumblr, are here to explain. First, here's a little background. The announcement came from Marissa Meyer's own Tumblr page. I'm delighted to announce that we've reached an agreement to acquire Tumblr. The Yahoo CEO is betting $1.1 billion that the venture will be a match made in digital heaven. Created in 2007, the hugely popular Tumblr allows users to share thoughts about everything from food to fashion to pop culture on their blogs. It boasts 108 million of them. More than 300 million monthly visitors spend a whopping 24 billion minutes on the site every month. It's the brainchild of 26-year-old David Carp, the hipster high school dropout who founded the company from his childhood bedroom and will remain Tumblr's CEO, with Myers' full support. We are not going to screw this up. And with that promise, let us welcome Marissa Meyer and David Carr. Great to have both of you here this morning. And I do want to talk about the deal. But, but, but first, you know, one of the things we've seen with natural disasters like this tornado in Oklahoma is the power of social media. So what can you tell us about what Yahoo and, and Tumblr are doing now? Well, we do have people who are on the ground covering the story. Uh, and we also have people who are uploading photos and sharing their experiences of what it's like to be there. And it really does create that community. Okay, so let's let's talk about uh, the deal right here. We saw you make that promise not to screw mm -hmm. this up. I mean, Yahoo has famously in the past paid a lot of money for new sites and then it hasn't worked out. What's your plan to avoid that kind of failure this time? Well, I think one of the things that's so special about Tumblr is the community. Uh, of users, this community of creators, and we want to make sure that they recognize that Tumblr is going to be independent, it's going to have the product roadmap and vision it's always had, it needs to stay true to that user promise, and that we're setting up Tumblr to do exactly that. And you made that promise to your users on Tumblr yesterday, you said you're not going to turn purple, which means uh, <laughs> going Yahoo, and in the past though, you've said that uh, the whole idea of advertising turns your stomach. So how are you going to make this work? How are you going to make money without losing your street cred? So look, I mean, more specifically, you know, we've always said, uh, you know, the state of advertising on the web has just always been kind of uninspiring to us. And the truth is there's a lot of great advertising out there in the world that actually makes, you know, makes Vogue a better magazine. And uh, the thesis for our business was that that was the type of advertising we could inspire and enable on Tumblr. Uh, and Yahoo uh, is the original digital media company was a perfect partner to uh, help us do that. And you're the original hipster CEO. I don't know about hipster. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, don't know, I appreciate that one. <laughs> that doesn't work for you? I, I, I prefer not. But. <laughs> okay, but here, and you ha you have had a lot of success uh, since dropping out uh, of high school, and you want to continue it now, of course, with Tumblr. One of the other challenges, though, Marissa, that y you're going to be facing here is that a fair amount of the um, content on Tumblr is adult content, uh, pornography, are you worried that that is going to turn off advertisers and is it something you're comfortable with? That's actually a mistaken assumption. So it actually turns out that Tumblr, relative to many of its peer sites, actually has relatively low amounts of... What is it, about 10, 12 percent? Uh, I think it's actually lower than that. Mm -hmm. and, um, and the idea is that we do want the community to have tools. Uh, Tumblr has originated the phrase, you know, not safe for work. Uh, and we want people to be able to tag whether or not their content is not safe for work. So those who are looking for that kind of thing can find it, and those who are don't, don't find it, and also make sure not to find it by accident. And how do you do that? Uh, community flagging, uh, machine learning. So you know, the, the end goal is that you're able to kind of draw a circle around all that content and basically give users a switch to turn it on or off. So okay. if you don't want to bump into it, you don't. Well, good luck with all this. I apologize for calling you a hipster, but good luck with everything going It's all right. Forward. Thank you for having us this morning. I appreciate <laughs> Absolutely. it. Absolutely.